Hi there, today I'm going to be showing you a recipe and for this recipe I'm going to be using another dish as the inspiration. The thing I'm using the inspiration is French stuffing and I'm going to be remixing all the ingredients uh, coming up with something new. So let's have a look at the ingredients. The stuffing consists of pork meat, I'm going to use sausages, chestnuts, onions, boiled egg, lemon and garlic, I've got the chicken which I've been marinating in the thyme, rosemary, olive oil, a bit of lemon, salt and pepper and I've added mushrooms, that doesn't appear in the stuffing but because these are chestnuts, uh, the pork and the herbs are kind of woodland type things, mushrooms are also found in a woodland, they're going to go well together. So I'm going to remix all of these and show you what I'm going to do and come up with something delicious that you can do at home. Right, so we're going to start off with the chicken. You can see there I've got it in the bag that's been marinated. That has been marinating for about five or six hours. You could leave it overnight. Now, I've got my pan here, which you can see there, which has been, uh, it's on number five. That's about two thirds, three quarters of the way up on the heat scale. So not really, really hot. And I've left it going for about six or seven minutes now. I'm going to take the chicken and place it skin side down. All right, skin side down for about 10 minutes. The chicken's gonna take about 25 to 30 minutes in total to cook. First 10 minutes skin side down and I don't really want to move it. If I move it too early, it's gonna tear the skin. Whereas on the heat, once it crisps up, you'll be able to move it no problem. So you can hear the sizzle. See, it's sizzling away, but it's not too high. That's been on for about four minutes now. It's gonna have about another six minutes or so. And then I'm gonna turn it over and then I'll have another five minutes on that. So that'll be about 15 minutes in total. Once I've done that, let's go over here. I'll be adding in the chestnuts and onions, which I already sauteed off. The sausages, which I already browned to get a bit of colour. Uh, the mushrooms aren't going to go in until the last few minutes because we don't want them to get too small. I'll be adding in lemon and then I'll be showing you at the end what I'm going to do with the egg and how we're going to incorporate that. So you can see that I've turned over the chicken now. Uh, nice and crispy, none of the skin tore there. So what we're going to do is have about at least five minutes just on their own in the pan. They're going to add the other ingredients and some chicken stock. So you can see now I've added everything else in. I've added in the onions, the stock, the chestnuts, the sausages, uh, half a lemon squeezed in. And now I'm going to let that kind of cook away. I'm going to turn that down a little bit. And let that sizzle away. Now that's going to cook for about 15 minutes. You notice as well that I poured away most of the fat that was in the pan. So I've put away most of that, but when I added the stock, what I did was I got my spoon and I scraped around to get all the bits off the bottom that's gonna add loads of flavor. So the chicken has cooked so far for about 15 or 16 minutes in the pan. It's now gonna go for about another 15 minutes with the stock in it. You wanna make sure the stock's bubbling away is going to reduce down. Now let's go over here. Have a look there. That is the yolk of a hard boiled egg. At the end, I'm gonna crush that up and I'm gonna add that to the stock and that's gonna give that a lovely richness and thickness. And with about two, three minutes to go to the cooking, I'm gonna add in the mushrooms for about the last, say, three minutes. The reason I'm doing that is I don't want them in there ages because otherwise they'll shrink right down. Okay, so I've removed the chicken, I've just put it to one side, and now what I'm going to add to our lovely sauce, you can see I've added the mushrooms there with about three minutes to go, is I'm going to add the yolk. So I'm just going to crumble that in. Okay, lovely. And the next bit there. So I'm going to crumble that in, I'm going to whisk that in, then when all that's done, I'm going to serve up. There it is, all served up. Chicken, sausages, chestnuts, chestnut mushrooms, onions, garlic, lemon thyme, and I've served it there with um, a rice that's got some currants running through it there to give it a little bit of extra flavor. Delicious.